Hello students, in this video we will have a short introduction on the complex numbers. We will solve few examples related to it as well. So before we know what the complex numbers are, we need to know what the imaginary numbers are. So can you think of a number or do you know a number which when squared gives a negative value? Yes, a number which when multiplied to itself gives a negative value. Let us try a few options. 2 into 2 is equal to 4 which is positive. Negative 5 into negative 5 is equal to 25 which is again positive. Root of minus 6 into root of minus 6 is equal to root of 36 that will be 6 again positive. So do you know a number or can you think of a number like that which when multiplied to itself gives a negative value? I'll tell you. In 18th century the Euler came with a number came up with a number that is root of minus 1 which when multiplied to itself it yields the negative value and he called it as the imaginary number and he named it as i which is also referred as iota. See here the root of minus 1 into root of minus 1 will be root of minus 1 whole square. The square and root can get cancelled and what you get is minus 1. So the root of minus 1 is called as the imaginary number which is also referred as iota. So now when you have a root negative roots, you can split it as root of 9 into root of minus 1. Root of 9 is 3 and root of minus 1 will be i. So this will be the imaginary number. For solving the problems, you need to keep these values handy. So that will be very convenient for you. So now coming back to the complex numbers. What are the complex numbers? The complex number is a combination of the real number and the imaginary number. And the standard form of the complex number is z is equals to a plus bi. The complex number is represented with z. z is equals to a plus bi. a plus bi and a plus ib is one and the same. So this is the standard form of the complex numbers. Few examples I have listed here that is 5 plus 2i is same as 5 plus i2 or iota2. Here phi is the real part and i2 or 2i is the imaginary number. Now here 3i, you can also write the 3i in the standard form with the real, real part as 0. And 9 plus 5i is also equal to 9 plus i5, i root 5. And the real part also you can write it in the standard form as 5 by 2 plus imaginary part as 0. So this was a brief introduction of the complex numbers and the imaginary numbers. In details we will be going in the examples. Now example, example 1 if 4x plus i 3x minus y is equals to 3 plus i minus 6 find x comma y. Here they have told us to find the value of x comma y. Now we can equate the real part and the imaginary part to find the value. Equating the real and the imaginary part, what is the real part? This is the real part, the 4x and the real part here is 3. So we are equating this 3 is equals to 4x, that is 4x is equals to 3. So here, so x is equals to 3 by 4. We got the value of x. Now we need to find the value of y. In the imaginary part, we need to equate 3x minus y is equals to minus 6. That is 3x minus y is equals to minus 6. We can put the value of x here, the same value of x that is 3 by 4. That is 3 into 3 by 4 minus y is equals to minus 6. So here 3 3s are 9, 9 by 4 minus y is equals to minus 6. So as I need the value of y, I'll shift this 9 by 4 on the other side of the equation. That will be minus y is equals to minus 6 and the 9 by 4 I shift it this side. So the minus, five, minus y is equals to, when I take the LCM, I get 6 into 4 minus 9 by 4 and what I get is 33 by 4. Negative, negative cancel and what I get is 33 by 4. So the value of x is equals to 3 by 4 and the value of y is equals to 33 by 4. I hope it is clear. Next example. Example 2 express the following in a plus ib form. They have given us the numbers and we need to express this number in the standard form that is in the form of a plus ib. So the first one that is minus 5i 
into 1 by 8 i you can also call it as iota so let me separate the real parts and the imaginary parts that is I'll multiply minus 5 into 1 by 8 that will be minus 5 by 8 and here i into i so minus 5 by 8 into i square i square is what i square is nothing but minus 1 so i square is minus 1 and the negative negative cancels so what remains is 5 by 8 and as we need to represent it in the form of a plus i b and we don't have a i terms here we will simply represent it as 5 by 5 by 8 plus i into 0 okay next next minus i 2i minus 1 by 8i whole cube so the minus i into 2i this we can split it as minus 1 by 8 whole cube and i cube so now minus 1 by 8 whole cube we can split it as minus 1 by 8 into minus 1 by 8 into minus 1 by 8 and i cube next there are four negative signs getting multiplied that is negative into negative is positive and negative into negative is positive so we get the positive sign and two ones are two two fours are eight that's what we write here in the next step that is i into i 1 by 4 1 by 8 into 1 by 8 and i cube what is i into i i into i is i square and coming to this i cube uh, we always need to split the i in the multiple of 2 as we have an odd number here we, we need to split it into the multiple of 2 we can split it as i square into i so i square is minus 1 and 1 by 4 into 1 by 8 into 1 by 8 i square is minus 1 into i so here the negative and negative get cancelled uh, 8 8 are 64 64 into 4 is 256 and i and as we need to write it in the standard form we don't have a real part here real part will be 0 plus imaginary part that is 1 by 256 i that's all in this video thank you so much students if you have any doubts please ask me in comments thank you